All right. Oh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is an all sign read, your person's intentions. All right. We are going to find out what this person's intentions. I will be um, creating a timestamp. All right. So that you don't have to watch the whole um, video all the way through. You can just click on your sign if you want. You can click on your zodiac sign, your partner's zodiac sign, so that you can hear your specific reading. All right, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. If you need a personal, more detailed, specific reading, I do have a special running at this time. Check the community section of this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. Also to show some support and to let me know that it resonates with your story. Again, we will be finding out your partner's intentions. All right. If you are wanting to say hello or just comment or say something in the chat section, you are more than welcome. I will respond to your chat as well as a comment if you make comments after the readings are over. We are going to be going from Pisces to Aquarius in their order. And I am going to begin now. All right, let's see. Let's see how does your person feel, their intentions. Let's see what their actions are. Let's get it. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. All right, Pisces, some of you are dealing with a cancer. You have a cancer in your environment. You may have cancer in your chart, okay? Let's see. Okay, I don't need all of those cards. So what I am going to do, since it feels like so many cards are coming out at this time, I'm just going to turn them over. <laughs> All right. All right. So Pisces, I feel like right now someone here wants to come together with you. I feel like you feel like home to this person. I feel like you definitely make this person happy. Okay. This person is wanting to return to you. All right. This person is wanting to return. The challenge is something here ended. Something here either ended with this death card, Scorpio's energy, or something changed in this union. Something ended, something changed. This could also be a an end to a cycle, all right? So this is what the challenge is, and I will be clarifying that later on. <clears throat> right now with the chariot. Okay, your person feels like they're ready to move forward. They want to make progress. They're ready to take action towards you. They want to take this union into a new direction. They are determined that they are going to work things out with you because they want victory. But I feel like this person has to work up the courage to come to to come towards you because you may have walked away from them. And they know that this is going to be a long journey and, and a long path to um, change the dynamic of this union. But I feel like this person has the willpower to push through. Okay? They are feeling like they have the willpower to get to the other side of this. <clears throat> Their intention with this five of wands here is to win at all costs. That's just it. This person wants to win at all costs. So whatever they have to do, whomever they have to walk away from, whatever they have to walk away from and leave behind, this person is willing to do it because this person realizes that they may have been sneaky. They may have put you in um, some type of competition with other people. Okay, this could have been a situation where there was verbal abuse or physical abuse for some of you. This person could have been trying to control you in some kind of way. So now this person is focusing on repairing this union. I feel like this person has spent a lot of time alone. They've isolated themselves from everyone. 
in order to come to this realization that you are actually home to them. Okay? You are actually home to them. The actions that this person is going to take, they're going to first take responsibility for their actions, number one. They are holding themselves accountable. They have realized they're wrong. They are going to move slowly towards you. They're not going to rush this, but they're going to move steady. So they're coming in steady and they are coming in slow because they want to achieve and make a good investment. They want you to believe that how they're coming in um, will present itself as being them showing patience in this situation. They want you to see them as being different, not controlling and in control of themselves as well as their emotions. Okay? How you feel about this person? You feel like this person is home as well. Their family, they bought some type of stability to your life, some type of success. For some of you, you've been with this person for a long time. Okay? You may have children with this person. This could be a family member. But I feel like this person feels like home to you. Okay? And you do want some form of stability. And for some of you, I feel like you want to work on this union with this person. But, again, the challenge is something here in this union needs to transform. Scorpio's energy. Okay? Something here in this union needs to transform. I do see growth. Okay, I see growth here in your outcome. So I feel like this person is going to step up to the plate. They are going to take responsibility for their actions. Okay, and I feel like this person is going to step in their power. Could be an Aries. They're going to step in their power. And there will be with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, there will be a new beginning. Definitely will be a new beginning. I feel like my advice for, for you would be to stop questioning if this is going to work out for you. Stop questioning if this is going to work out because this new opportunity is going to come in quickly. Okay, and I don't mean like the actions and the trans transformation of your partner's behavior will change quickly. I mean that the opportunity to revisit this union is going to come in quickly. You're not going to see this coming. Some of you feel like this union is completely over and you have your defense up or your guard up. Okay, and see, this is why... The death card is the challenge. Let's see why this death card is here. Let's clarify this death card. Why is this this um so challenging for Pisces? Why is this death card here? Okay, so I feel like there's a lack of communication. I'm definitely getting a lack of communication here. Um, I feel like there is, well, first of all, there's a lack of communication and a lack of like expressing the emotions, a lack of communication, a lack of expressing emotions, which will bring in clarity. And I feel like this lack of communication creates distance between you and this person. That's a huge problem here. And I feel like that's why this person is coming in slowly. They're coming in slowly because they don't want you to become defensive. All right, let's see. How are they going to step up to the plate? How is this person going to step up to the plate? Because this is coming back together. Like, your partner's intentions are to move this thing forward. 
Yeah, so I feel like this person is going to, they're ready to rebuild. They're ready to have some type of um, change here. They had, they've gone through or released some type of old way of thinking or a behavior. And here we go. This is the card I was looking for. This King of Swords. This person is coming in. They're stepping up to the plate by coming in to rebuild as well as communication. Communication. So they've been planning this. They've been planning for some time now that they're going to communicate more or communicate clear to you because they want balance in this union. And see, again, it's coming in unexpectedly. This is something that you're not going to see. But your person had to work up the strength and courage to come in to do this. And now that they're focused and they have the clarity that they need, could be a Leo. They have the clarity that they need. They're coming in for this new beginning. They're coming in for this ace of wands right here. All right, so they're ready to put the work in. They got the urge to create a new outcome, the willpower to create a new outcome, the desire to create the new a new outcome. This person has stepped in their power and they're wanting to move forward in this new opportunity so that you and them can grow in a relationship together. All right, so Pisces, that is what I have for you. Let me know in the comment section or the chat section if it resonates. All right, let's see. We have Aries up next. We have the sign of Aries up next. Don't forget, each sign will be time stamped. Each sign will be time stamped, so you will not have to... If you don't want, if you want to sit through the whole entire video, guess what? Thank you. I appreciate the love and support. <laughs> if not, each video will be time stamped. And you can click on the time next to your video or your video reading. If you need a personal reading, I do have a special going on from now until February the 14th. Okay. Check the community section for more information. Don't forget to press the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. Also, lets me know you support the channel. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, take the cards how they come out. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. Um, Scorpio's energy is here as well. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we had the two of pentacles here. The two of pentacles. So I feel like the overall energy here, someone here has to manage their time. It's either time management is needed here. Someone's juggling multiple things, could be juggling multiple people. Okay, someone's wearing their, weighing their options. And there could be someone here that's needing to make a decision between two. Someone here may need to make a decision between two. Some of you are, or this is your person, someone here is carrying more responsibility than they can handle. Someone's a little bit more busier than usual and needing to take a time for themselves, take a, take a break for themselves. Okay? So time management is definitely the overall energy or what's needed at this time. The challenge here, Knight of Wands, Someone is always on the go. Things are moving quickly. Someone is uh, success driven. Someone here is more concerned about 
finances or money than a relationship. Okay. And I feel like there isn't anything wrong with that. However, if it becomes a, an issue within the relationship, that's where the problem comes into play. And that's why this is the challenge. Someone here could be, could be trying to fast talk someone too, trying to get someone to believe in what they're saying so with this ambition here and how fast this, this image is moving. I feel like someone here is, um, someone here could be trying to make themselves into something that they're not trying to portray to be someone or something that they're not. Okay. Someone here could be wearing a mask. So Aries. Right now, your partner is feeling rejected. So you may be the one that's in that flighty energy because your partner is feeling rejected. Okay? This person may be feeling like you don't have time for them. They have become, they feel a disconnect in this union. They are beginning to feel boredom. They are feeling like you are passing them up for everything else around you. And you're passing them by. Okay. Their intention is to come towards you quickly. To have a conversation. So you two may definitely live at a distance from each other. But this person wants to move towards you. They are trying to reconcile. Reconnect. They want to make change in this union. And they are wanting to have a conversation. To see how fast. Things will turn around if they turn around. That's if they are able to turn around. Okay, they're trying to create a new opportunity, a new beginning. But they, they're like wanting to do it now. Okay, that's their intention. To make change now. <clears throat> so what they're going to do is, if this person was like feeling down in the dumps, of course, we know that they are feeling rejected. They're going to put it into that feeling, that state of mind. And they are going to come towards you because they want to change the dynamic of this union. So they're coming in to tell you, okay, I want to start over. I want to put an end to the feeling of rejection or the lack of communication. Let's fix this thing and see where things go from, from there. Okay, with this death card, Scorpio's energy. With the justice card here, Libra's energy. I feel like you're going to um, give this person the benefit of the doubt because they, they are bringing in clarity. And it's like now you understand and you know how this person feels. Um, I feel like you're going to be fair in this situation and you're going to try <laughs> to balance this situation out, okay? I see you trying to balance this situation out because right now, you're still on the go. You're still on the go. And I feel like you're still on the go because you're trying to like get some type of financial security or you're trying to um, manifest like financial wealth or financial abundance or some type of new opportunity or prosperity, okay? You're trying to create something financially that's long-term that will be um, like gener create generational wealth for years to come, okay? That's what's in your outcome. But also, there's a relationship here. There's a, a commitment, there's someone that's wanting to be with you. So this person will um, feel disappointed, okay? Disappointment, okay? Stabbed in the back and betrayed if you continue to push them away or shut them out or not give them the required attention that they want. It's going to, there's going to be a collapse in this union. Okay, if you continue to juggle all of these things and don't include this person into your decisions, into your life, okay, because your outcome, your well, your advice here is 
I feel like your advice is to let go of some of this trust because you got the Ten of Wands here. This is overwhelmed, feeling overwhelmed, feeling stressed out, working hard. Like there's an overload here. But I feel like the advice would be for you to know that it's okay to slow to slow down, okay? Because it's going you you've already worked so hard, so you don't have to work as hard because it's going to pay off. The work that you already put in is going to pay off in the end anyway because you already planted those seeds. All right, you've already planted those seeds. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on so that you know when I go live. All right, let's see, Taurus. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. It also lets me know you are in support of this channel. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Taurus. Let's see. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, what are your person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? What are the person's intentions for the sign of Taurus? All right, so we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, for your overall energy, all right? So I feel like with this Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this is like a really, like, nurturing feeling. So you could be feeling, like, emotional at this time. You could be taking care of someone or someone is taking care of you. Um, someone could be trying to make you comfortable or they or they are trying to make you comfortable. But I feel like it's a very calming feeling at this time. Things are very calm. Okay. You could be feeling sensitive. Your intuition could be speaking to you at this time. All right. Because things are like calming. You created a, a calming space around you okay that's the overall energy we'll clarify that later on um yeah we got the king of wands here for the challenge so the challenge here is that someone here needs to take action or to do something okay that's what the challenge is there's some type of you this could be the challenge here could also be overcoming something. And we'll clarify that as well. But right now, Tars, your person is experiencing a tower moment. Could be a Scorpio or an Aries. There is some type of hit. Um, there is some type of change, a sudden change that is taking place at this this time. Okay. Um, I feel like it is causing or creating a state of fear. Okay. It is creating change within a union. It's creating change within a home. Okay. And Taurus, this is how your person is feeling. Some of, For some of you, this person is wanting to either put you out or they want to put someone out. <laughs> someone here wants something to change with, within a home. Your person. Because this is their, their feelings. This person is feeling like... They're out of their comfort zone, okay? And they want some type of change here. So this queen of cups that is here, this is the feeling that your person wants to go through, go to, this calming feeling. Because we have chaos here, okay? If your person is feeling the environment 
something in the environment is chaotic. And they are wanting to go towards peace, harmony, nurturing, love, calm, calmness. Okay. Their intention to get there is to take a pause, to retract their energy, to pull back. Okay. To let go, to try to view things from a different perspective. Okay. This person could be meditating at this time, trying to gain some type of clarity pertaining to how they cre can create change. There are decisions, life-changing decisions that this person is making in the state of isolation. Okay? This person is in, in the process of making decisions in their isolation. So if they have not been communicating with you or interacting with you or you feel like something has changed in this person, it's because they are trying to seek calm within so that it can reflect outwardly. And that's what their intention is. How can I change this? What they're going to do to change this, they are going... <clears throat> I feel like this person is going to just trust the process, okay? They're going to trust the process. I feel like they are going to continue. Someone here, this person could have been helping others or doing something for others. They could also be changing this by um, like getting out into nature or working out in nature To create stability within themselves or for themselves. They're going to continue to work towards loving on others. Okay. This is someone, I feel like this person is like very intuitive. And this person does reflecting. That's why they're able to hang things up for right now to see what it is or where change is needed or what they have to do to make change in their surroundings. That This person is very intuitive, okay? I feel like this person is, a, is an enlightened person. They're aware of the, what they need to do to make change for them. So, <clears throat> now you may be feeling that you need more information about what's going on with this person. You want them to tell you everything that is going on with them. Okay? So that you two can set out on this new journey together. Because this is a new beginning coming in. Okay? Something, something like a small idea, a spark of inspiration is coming in. Okay? So this could be you feeling this. After a conversation with this person. And I feel like. Um, <clears throat> it's going to lead to some type of balance. With the justice card. Libra's energy is here. It's definitely going to lead to balance. Okay. Because it's like. You already know what the problem is. You and your person. Know what the problem is. So you two are going to work together. To create this balance. Whether it be you. You know pulling back. And giving your person the space that they need. To ground themselves. Okay. Because even here. This king of wands is the challenge. <clears throat> the, and. Is overcoming obstacles. So you two are going to overcome these obstacles together. Let's see. Why is this king of wands here? Clarify this king of wands. I want to clarify this King of Wands and I want to see what this Tower card is. <clears throat> okay, so there could be some conflict here. King of Wands, conflict. So, so some, for some of you, the challenge here is that there is conflict. Okay, someone here could be trying to bully someone. Someone here wants to win at all costs. Someone here wants to compete with the other person. Okay. And it's creating an environment where someone here is ready to move on. Someone here is crying over spilled milk. 
someone here has some deep regrets. They wish that they would have done things or said things differently. Okay. Someone here could need to forgive themselves or forgive someone else. Could be a family member. This could be a situation that has to do with a family. Ten of, ten, ten of cups here. But I feel like even with this Ten of Cups coming out, that this is the end of a cycle. Tens represent endings that will lead. And then you got the World Card coming out too. <clears throat> this is the end of a cycle. <clears throat> Within something that has to do with a relationship, with this relationship, or this is something that's going on. You got the Ten of Wands here. So someone here is feeling some kind of way about this relationship. And I feel like you're at the tail end of it. This is the tail end of it. Because someone here is thinking about the lesson in this chaos. Someone here is thinking about the lesson in this chaos and is creating this new beginning. Okay, because someone here has decided I'm going to move forward in love. I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to nurture me. Okay, I'm going to love on myself. I'm going to continue to love on people and things around me because someone is aware. Someone has clarity, has um, enlightenment, has knowledge that what you put out is what you get back which is creating this new beginning. So there's a new beginning here. So I feel like the advice is the, the ace of swords here. <clears throat> that was nasty. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. The advice here would be to keep the company of those that continue to inspire you to with those that channel your energy, okay? And with the people that make you happy because that will bring more peace, more joy, more love, and more happiness in your surroundings, okay? It will allow you to overcome the chaos, the obstacles that are in your way because you're not thinking about it. So what's out of sight is out of mind, okay? So that's what I have for you, Tauruses. We are going to move on to um, the sign of Gemini. If this is resonating, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. Also lets me know you support this channel. Thank you in advance. Okay, I think the kids, some of these kids then got out of school because I hear children. All right, let's see, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Gemini. So we have Gemini next, Cancer, and then Leo. Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. I'm just calling them out in that order. But right now, Gemini, your sign, your energy, your read is up next. If the reading resonates with your situation, don't forget to press the thumbs up image to show some support to help me out. If you want to leave a donation, a super chat, a super thanks, a super sticker, all are welcome. All right, let's see. Gemini, what's going on with the sign of Gemini and their person? Or the person you came here for. Doesn't have to be your person, like your significant other. This can be anyone that the energy matches in your environment. So let's see. We got your challenge is the seven of cups. The two of cups at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. All right. So someone here wants to get on the same page. Okay, someone wants you to to see eye to eye. There is someone here thinking about a partnership. Could be a higher level of commitment. Um, someone's thinking about the overall relationship as a whole. Okay, so that's the overall energy. 
the challenge here may be that someone may have options with the seven of cups or someone has a decision to make. Someone here either has options or there is a decision that needs to be made. We are definitely going to clarify the seven of cups to see what it is. All right, Gemini. So Gemini, your partner, this partner is contemplating. They could be recuperating or recovering from something, could be an argument. This person has went into some type of retreat, okay? And they're trying to figure out a way not to fail in this union. This person has, I feel like some of you have children with this person. If you have, if you have children with this person, this person is trying to figure out how to keep the family together. Okay. But they're definitely like feeling, um, they could be feeling isolated by you. They are contemplating on their next move, what they want to do. I feel like their intention is to create love, to create a higher level of commitment. This person may be coming in to offer you love. Could be um, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio coming in to offer this love. That's where their intentions are. For some of you, this person may propose to you. And I'm hearing if this is a divine feminine, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, this person is coming in towards you to offer you love, a higher level of commitment, or possibly propose to you. Okay? Or possibly propose to you. All right? What they're going to do, they're coming in quick. They're not wasting no time. They're coming in quick and they're coming in with the conversation and they're going to want an answer immediately. This person does not want to wait to move this thing forward. They are ready for a long-term commitment with you, Gemini. <laughs> okay. You, seven of uh, <laughs> swords here with this. I'll be in the lab because this is definitely your energy. You, on the other hand, are looking like, uh-uh, I'm not ready to move this fast. That you feel like this person is being dishonest. They're being deceptive. They're not coming in being truthful. <laughs> so I see you like, all right, I need to try to get away from this person because they're trying to move towards me too, too fast. Like, you feel like this person is up to something. Okay. And that's why the challenge is the Seven of Cups. This is you. I don't even need to clarify that. This is you feeling like this person is up to no good. All right? So the outcome here is the Knight of Wands. This person is flighty energy. This is a, like one of those people that come in quick. And then once they like get what they want, they slow down like it's unbelievable. They come in quick, could be passionate about you, passionate about the situation. They talk a good game. And then it's like, soon you give them a chance, they pull their energy back because their intention, okay, is to come in quickly. Because here, you still, both of these nights, here up here before, they came in with the conversation. They were coming in passionately wanting to offer a cup of love. And I'm not saying that this person doesn't love you or that they don't want to move things to a higher level of commitment. But is it for the right reason is the question. I don't feel like it's for the right reason. So I see you with this um, food card being your advice, Aquarius, Aries energy. I feel like you're looking at the possibilities of this, okay? And you are, some of you are going to take a risk. You're going to take a leap of faith with this person, with this two of cups, and you're going to hear them out, and you're going to um, proceed to go into a new direction with them. 
you're going to proceed to be um, start over and try to have this new opportunity in love with this person. Now, I do want to pull to see if it lasts because I know the outcome is you making a decision and we know that you are going to um, be optimistic, okay? You're being optimistic. Optimistic. Your advice card is optimism. So let's see. I want to see is it going to last. Okay. Queen. One more. Yeah. I feel like it's not going to last. It's because this person is coming in solely off of their passion. And I don't mean like, I don't feel like this is, has anything to do with sex. It's like they're coming in because in this moment, they may be thinking about you and they, they are rushing in to have this new beginning. But as fast as they come in in this energetic energy, they are going to pull back and start telling you, oh, now you got to be patient. Oh, let's wait. Let's after they get in. Wait a minute. Let's slow things down. <laughs> so they're rushing in. This person wants to have some type of control. This could some of you are dealing with a control freak. This person wants control. That's what, uh, what I'm feeling. I'm gonna leave it at that, Gemini's. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if your person is controlling. Because that's what I'm picking up on. We have someone here that's trying to control. Oh, okay. Trying to control, control things or be in control of this situation. And I feel like they don't really want you to do or say anything. All right. All right, let's see. Cancer. What's going on between cancer and their person? What is going on between cancer and the person they came here for? Cancer's person's intentions. What are cancer's person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? What are the intentions of cancer's person? Let's see. I'm just trying to clear the energy of the cards. I know sometimes shuffling can be loud. I apologize, but I want to make sure you clear the energy from the previous reading. All right, let's see. Cancers. Mm -hmm. Cancer, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be dealing with another Cancer like yourself, could be dealing with a Leo, okay? We got Cancer, Leo, and Aquarius energy here at the bottom of the deck for your overall energy, Five of Cups. There's some regret here, all right? I see some regret here. Someone is grieving a loss, so this could be a breakup. Okay, someone's crying over spilled milk, wishing that they would have chose differently or done something differently. But this is definitely heartbreak due to some type of breakup, separation, divorce. Or someone here could have transitioned to the other side. Or someone here is feeling abandoned. But there are definitely, this is like definite negative energy for the overall read. Someone could be concealing their negative feelings as well. All right, so we're clarifying the challenge card as well as the overall energy. But right now, I want to get into your person's feelings. This person is feeling passionate about working on this union. I feel like they are looking at the positives in this union, and that is what's keeping them wanting to continue on and to develop a new opportunity for a higher level of commitment. How this person plans on coming towards you with the, we went from a, a eight to a nine, look at the eight, nine. 
okay? So this person is like putting things in order. What they're going to do is, I feel like this person's intentions are to continue to invest in this union, okay? Because they're comfortable here, okay? They feel content. They are feeling st stability in this union. I do... I do feel like this person wants some type of independence. Like they want the stability in this union. They're, work, they're going to work towards the stability in this union, but they do want a sense of their own independence, if that makes sense. So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that has been they feel like they've been working in this union. And some of you have been with this person for some time. I'm getting another storyline. Someone here has been in a relationship working in this union. And someone here has made a really comfortable life for themselves. Um, there's financial security here. Someone is enjoying the fruits of their labor. They are enjoying um, putting years into a union but they may be ready to become single, okay? Someone here could be preparing or ready to become single or go off, go off on their own to do something because we do have someone here that's thinking about their independence and what they're going to do, the action that they're going to take is this person could come in and try to start an argument. Because they want to go off and do something else. It's like, okay, I've been pouring into this union. I've been here. I've been present. Now I, I want some me time. That's what I'm feeling. Like your person is saying, I want some me time. Whether this is permanently or if this is just for a small time being. Someone here is like, I need me a break. And it's going to create some type of heartbreak. And this is what you're going to find out about Leo's energy. Some of you are dealing with the Leo. So some of you, you're going to gain some, you, you may have been feeling like you've been in the dark about some things. And this is why you are in the process of making a decision. There's a lot of things that are being hidden at this time. You're in the process of making a decision, but you need clarity. What do you need clarity about? Some of you are dealing with the mother or father of your children. What you need clarity about is if this person is being sneaky and deceptive. Because they're coming in wanting this new beginning. They want to be in control of things. And you're like, uh-uh. No. Are you trying to keep me in? And this is your energy, the moon card. So you're in your power. You're like, no. Are you trying to keep me in the dark about things? Or are you trying to be sneaky? You try, are you trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Okay. Some of you may have been having dreams that this person is messing around. Your intuition could have been telling you that something is going on with this person. Okay. That they're not telling you. And that's why this regret is here. This disappointment is here. This sorrow is here. Because what you're thinking about is, are you going to walk away from this person? And guess what? I feel like they don't even know what you're thinking. Because they don't even know that you're starting to lose hope. Some of you have already gone cold in a relationship. You have already distanced yourself. You've already gone cold. You may want to walk away, but you may be in fear that it's going to create some type of um, financial hardship. Okay? For some of you, I mean, I'm just saying what I see. This situation has caused you, you may be in a relationship, but you may be feeling lonely. You feel by yourself. You're feeling insecure. You're feeling a sense of um, low self-esteem. You could be going through a financial hardship or someone here um, lost some finances or something. You could be feeling like you're isolated, feeling like you're, someone around you is self-centered or selfish. They only think about themselves. Some of you 
has have started drinking a lot, okay? And you're like, I just want this to be over. I just want to feel like me again. I just want to feel at home again. I just want to be happy again. I want to feel loved again. Okay, so again, some of you are married to this person or this is a long-term commitment. Yeah, and this is what you're manifesting. Some of you are going to walk away from this. You're manifesting a new beginning. You are manifesting a new beginning. You, Some of you feel like you put a lot of work into a union and you did not get back what you put out. You feel wounded. Your heart broke. Okay? Some of you just want to move towards peace and harmony. Okay? Some of you just want to move towards peace and harmony. And that's why in your advice card with the star card, Aquarius energy is here. Spirit is saying, keep faith, keep hope. There is a renewal, a new beginning coming in. Do, don't give up. Don't give up because it's, it's right here. Things are going to get better. All right. I hope they don't flag me. <laughs> I forgot the star card looks like this, but hopefully they don't. All right. So that's what I have for you, Cancers. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this, your, this is your story. You can also chat in the chat section if you want. You are more than welcome to say hello. I will respond. All right, let's see. Leo's. See what's going on with the sign of Leo. Don't forget, each sign will be time stamped. What is going on? With the sign of Leo. What's going on with Leo's? What is going on with the sign of Leo and their person? What is going on with the sign of Leo? Okay. All right. Let's see. Leo. Two of Cups. Two, okay. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Someone here has a decision. Your person is thinking about deciding, balancing something out, making a decision to do something. Okay. Okay. Hmm. The Will of Fortune. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. I feel like a cycle is coming to an end. There's some type of change taking place. Some type of change is taking place. Could have something to do with a Sagittarius. Okay, we are going to clarify and find out what that challenge is. But that's the overall energy. So some of you, I'm sorry, I'm doing, trying to do two things at one time. Some of you are thinking about, and this could be you or your partner. This is just the over, overall uh, view of things. Someone here is thinking about when is there going to be change in the union. Someone here could also be pregnant and going through some type of trimesters. Is, I'm, I'm hearing that. So let me know in the comment section if you are expecting a baby, okay? But Leo could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We have Aries energy here, Aquarius energy is here, Cancer's energy is here. So let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, or Sagittarius. Those are the energies that are here. All right, Leo. You have the two of cups. So some of you, your partner is thinking about a par a partnership. Someone here is thinking about a marriage or a commitment. Someone here is, this person is thinking about um, some type of reciprocity with this two of cups. Some type of reciprocity, some type of give and take. Seeing eye to eye, getting on the same page. This is what your person is thinking about. How can we get on the same page? Their intuition 
is telling them to, to weigh their options. So for some of you, this your person's intent, so this person is thinking about this union. And what they're thinking is how or will there ever be balance here? How or will there ever be balance? Because for some of you, this person feels like you may have a busy schedule, okay? You avoid making balance in this union. So now this person is weighing their options. I feel like that two of pinnacles need to be clarified. For some of you, this person is thinking about going into a new direction, starting things over. I feel like they could be spying on you or checking you out in some kind of way at this time because they're trying to figure out what, why this union is not balanced. Why is this two of pentacles here for Leo's partner for their intentions? What is this person weighing their options about? The, just, the lover's card, Gemini energy is here. This person is trying to decide on if they want to reconcile or not. So this person's intentions are to make a decision for themselves. They're deciding on if they want to reconcile or if they want to move on from this. I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. However, there's an imbalance here. There's an imbalance. And I feel like with this page of swords here, this person could be like on a quest or thirsting for something new because there's an imbalance in this union. Now you, on the other hand, you want to start over. You want this person with this fool card to take a risk, to take a leap of faith. To come back together with this um this ten of wands and the outcome. You want them to come back together with you because you feel like this person is home, their family, like you're comfortable with them. But the problem here, which is the challenge here, is that something here needs to be discussed. I feel like this person may have put up some boundaries, okay? They may be giving you the cold shoulder right now or they are giving you direct, clear-cut communication. Okay, why is this point? Oh, okay. <laughs> the king of swords in a reverse. So this person is not really saying anything to you. And so I feel like this person's silence is like, a form of their communication. Okay. They're not saying it. Oh, okay. For some of you, this person is not saying anything because this could be a third party situation. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. So for some of you, this person feels as if they're not saying anything because you already know what's going on. Okay, this person feels like you're you're already aware of what's going on. So why say why talk about it? So they're not talking. Yep. Given to multiple people. Okay. They feel like you're given to multiple people. This is why this this um queen of swords here, why this person put up some boundaries. I feel like they may have said in the past XYZ. So now they're not saying anything else. They're, they're showing how they feel through their silence. Okay? This person is showing how they feel through their silence. We got the Knight of Wands here. So for some of you, this is their player energy. Leo, this could be you. Could be dealing with multiple people, multiple things, given to two, three. Okay? So this person is not saying anything at this time because I feel like they've already spoke in the past. All right? They've already spoke. For some of you, they're not saying anything because 
There's a queen of pentacles here. This is some, this is a spouse. So this could be someone that is married. Okay? And this person is quiet, sitting in their power, because they know that they're deciding to go towards a new stable beginning in another direction. Okay? So that's what the challenge is. <clears throat> That is what the challenge is. This person does not want to feel like they're going around in circles with this will of fortune. They want this cycle to come to an end. Yes. So they are taking action. Someone here is taking action to overcome some challenges and outcomes to go towards something different. Someone wants a different, a different outcome for themselves. <clears throat> yep. Someone is moving away from some type of deception. It's like someone's intuition is leading them away from deception. See this person? It's like they are trying to be sneaky and go towards the passion. Take action towards this passion. Okay. But they keep going, looking back here towards their intuition and what their intuition is telling them is to move on. Could be a cancer. Their intuition is telling them to move on. All right. So that is what I have for you, Leos. That's what I have for you, Leos. Okay. Let me know if they resonated. Comment in the comment section below. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks to the subscribers, the members, the people that just watch. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm moving on to the sign of Virgo. We have Virgo and then Libra. Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. We have Virgo, Leo, and Scorpio. Virgo, Leo, and Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. What is going on with the sign of Virgos? Let's see. My dog is looking at me. He thinks that I'm taking him outside and I'm not. Because I already took him out. Virgos. All right, so Virgo overall energy is the page of swords. Overall energy for Vir Virgos, the page of swords. Virgo, some of you or someone in your environment could be coming up with some new ideas about something, could be curious, could be doing research. Um some of some of you could be um Thirsting after knowledge. You could be wanting to know like what's going on with someone or someone is wanting to know what's going on with you. Some of you could be waiting for messages to come in. Okay, but I see a challenge here. So some of you are worried about something. Okay, or someone is worried about something and we're going to find out who's worried. Virgo, your partner, the Knight of Wands. Some of you, this person may feel like, this person is feeling like you are, could be a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. They could feel like something here is moving fast or someone here is, the energy is in and out or off, off and on. They may feel like your energy is in and out, off and on. Or you're always doing something. Okay? Could be moving fast. This person is feeling like you're always on the move. Okay? You're always on the move. You're unpredictable. Okay? And this person is just wanting to come together with you. Someone here wants to collab with you. They want to collab with you. They want to come together. 
I do feel like you make this person happy, but what the problem here is this person feels like you're always on the go. Okay? They feel like you're always on the go. And I feel like with this, um, what they're going to do, they're going to continue to give to this union because they want to create balance in this situation for them. They are wanting to create balance in this situation for them. I do feel like um, you are, on the other hand, are feeling some type of heartbreak because of how this person feels about you or feels about this situation. Because right now, this person is feeling like you, you, you be taking time out, okay? Or you take breaks or something like that. You create delays in the movement of the union and they don't like it. <laughs> this person does not like it. So, I feel like someone is contemplating moving on. Contemplating moving on. Could be crying over spilt milk at this time. Because we definitely have someone here that's feeling anxious, overwhelmed. Feeling like they, they're with you, but they're alone. Okay. Someone here feels like they're with you, but they're, why is this, what is this regret about? Someone feels rejected, feels unseen, okay? Feels like they want to be prioritized. And it's like, okay, you you continue to give your attention to everything else but this union, to everything else outside of our relationship, okay? And it's creating some type of, despair and i feel like this person is not even communicating with you about it or they haven't recently or they haven't in a long time so they may be spying on you because they may be feeling like or questioning is Virgo dealing with somebody else because if they're not talking to me if they're not doing this if they're not doing that who are they doing it with okay so i see my advice to you Virgo, is to just balance this out Try to balance this out. Some of you are married to this person. And spirit is saying, balance this out. Speak your truth. Have an open, honest conversation. And balance this out. Okay? All right. So that's what I have for you, Virgos. I didn't clarify any of those cards because I felt like I didn't really need to. It was kind of like self-explanatory. <clears throat> All right. That's my pomegranate juice. All right, let's move on. Libras. We have Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and then I will be doing a collective spread. Let's see what is going on with the sign of Libra. What's going on with the sign of Libra? I hope you all are enjoying these all sign readings. I appreciate all the love and support. Again, I know I keep saying it, but I do. I am grateful to all of my subscribers, all of my members, and to all that just watch. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you want to do so, just hit the subscription link. Okay, press the thumbs up image. Make sure your notification bells are on so that you are notified when I go live for all readings as well as live questions and answers. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Challenge, Seven of Cups, overall energy, Seven of Pentacles. Look at that, seven and seven. Could be dealing with a Cancer. We have Cancer's energy here with that moon sign. The overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Someone here is taking a hard, long look at a situation, trying to work things out, trying to see how they can overcome some obstacles, okay? Trying to see if they want to in, even invest into this union, okay? I feel like some of you know, and this could be either you or this person knowing the value of the other, 
but just hold them back to see how this other person is playing. Hold them back to see if you want to continue to put the work in this or if you should put the work in because someone here has a decision to make or someone here has some options and we will be clarifying that. So Libra, right now, I feel like your person is feeling as if they want to have a conversation to see if there could be some success, to see if you two can overcome some obstacles, to see if you can come up with ideas to proceed forward or to have a new beginning. All right. Their intention for this new beginning is to persevere, to overcome. Okay. This person has a guard up and they want to like, they want to let their guard down. They do want to continue to work on this and they do feel like they put a lot of work into this and they did not get the same um, thing back in the return for, from you. But they're deep down inside. I feel like this person is still wanting to overcome those obstacles. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're sitting back and they're making a decision or they are planning for the long haul. They're sitting back making a decision, a decision, and they are planning for the long haul because really this person wants to reconcile with you. They just may not have spoke that to you as of yet. That's why I, in their feelings, it's like, okay, I want to have this conversation with Libra to see if we can overcome these obstacles or if we can persevere together and have this reconciliation. Okay, so that is what's on your person mind. You, Libra, on the other on the other hand, you feel some type of disappointment, betrayal. You feel like um, this relationship has failed. Okay, and I feel like some of you have been left with some deep wounds due to this ending. Due to this ending. Okay, but in your outcome, there's something here being hidden. With this moon card, something here is being hidden from you. You can't see it. And what it is, is what it is, is what from the energy that I'm picking up, what I feel is happening is what you don't see is that this person is coming your way to see if you two can reconcile. This person is coming your way because I do feel like you are a wish fulfillment to, to this person. Okay, you are a wish fulfillment to this person and this person is aware that you make them happy. Okay, so they're checking or reevaluating how to reevaluating how you two can get back into alignment. Okay, so if they have not come in yet, it's because they're trying to figure out how you two can come back into alignment. But they need alone time. They could be surrounded by family and friends that's distracting. These people around them are distracting. Okay? So this person needs to get into a space of isolation so that they can um, figure out how to come in and break this news to you. Because that's what they want to do. <clears throat> yeah, but I feel like they have family and friends around them that are either like persuading their decisions or blocking this from moving forward. Someone has family and friends around them, and that's why this is over in a challenge, that are blocking their decisions or they're like speaking negatively about this relationship, and this is why this person is holding back. Because this person wants to come back together. So, again, one of you are waiting Waiting, waiting for some type of change, waiting to gain the coverage, the strength, could be a Leo, to come back in because someone here is wanting to win at all costs. They want to work or collaborate or come together to work on this, this union. Someone wants to come back in, and that's what you don't see, that this person wants back in. They want to reconcile. And for your advice... Um, spirit is saying, in order for you to have this victory, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You have to put yourself out there so that this person can, can, um, 
Putting yourself back out there will allow this person to see that you want the same thing that they want. Because right now, this person is unaware of what you really want. And it's because you're still moving, like, you know, in disappointment. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Libras. I'm going to move on to Scorpio. Virgo. Is it Virgo? Wait. Did I do Virgo? Oh, I did Virgo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Scorpio is up next. Scorpio, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know why when I get to like mid or towards the end of the readings, I start feeling congested every time. Like my allergies or something starts acting a little funny. <clears throat> Scorpio. What messages are here? Don't forget to press that thumbs up image, Scorpios. Let me know you support this channel. Let me know you support this channel. Let me know the reading resonates. Comment in the comment section. All of that. Judgment card. So this person has you on their mind, that's for sure. Scorpio, I feel like your person wants a, another chance. This person, I can't show the card because there are naked people on. So I won't pull it, the card up close, but this person wants another chance. Could be another Scorpio, could be an Aries, could also be a Leo. Challenge here is eight of wands. So something here could be either moving really slowly or needing to speed up. Or someone here needs to take hurry up and take action. The overall energy is the strength card. So the challenge here is that someone here needs to speed things up or there needs to be some quick changes or someone here is moving slow. This person could be moving or taking their damn time because they need coverage to come towards you. Okay? Why is this strength card here? Yeah. This person is trying to work up the strength to come towards you. They need to go through some type of a re awakening or they either they need to release another person before they can come towards you. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there's a decision here that needs to be made. That's why this person, like if you and this person have not talked in a while or... There's been like a little hiccup in a road or something like that. Okay. Yeah, deception. This person could be sneaking around. They are either sneaking around with you or they are sneaking around with someone else to see you. And that's what's causing, creating this stuck energy. Because again, with the judgment card here, this person is feeling like they want to reconcile with you. Okay, so I do feel like their intentions are to step up to the plate to create some type of stability, to create an image of themselves as being in control of things. But the action that they're taking is still drag. They're still dragging their damn feet. They're still relaxing. They're still they're still in a state of just thinking about it. So this person is really really slow. Okay. You, on the other hand, how you're seeing this situation is you want this person to come in with an offer, okay? Something stable, something that's going to be like a commitment. And you got the two of pentacles as your outcome. So I feel like you're weighing your options. at the When it's all said and done, even if this person comes towards you and decide they want to stop dragging their feet, you're not going to take their offer right away. You're going to make them wait. Okay. And again, challenge. Eight of Wands. This person moves like a damn turtle. <laughs> and I feel like they are moving like a turtle. Okay, so for some of you, this person could have started dealing with someone else. For others of you, this person could be waiting for an, um, a job offer to come in. So they could be trying to like balance out their finances or something. 
they could be having financial um, issues. That's why they didn't come in with an offer and why they're dragging their damn feet. Because this person is slow. They are slow as hell. Okay. Yeah, and that's what's causing a blockage here. Because this person is trying to, like, they're hoping that things can get better so they can come in with the offer that they know you desire, but they can't because they're on the defense. I feel like they're a little embarrassed as well. Could be a little embarrassed. Yeah. So if they're not in a third-party situation, this person is patiently waiting for an, a job offer to come in. So they may be coming off as being deceptive, being a trickster, because they have to, um, they're, first of all, they're in their pride and ego. This person is operating out of their pride and ego. And they don't really want you to know that they're having issues with their finances. So they're, put, they're wearing a mask, basically, basically. And that's why your advice with this two of wands here is to, um, when you make a, this decision, to either move forward with this person or to go your separate way. Let it be all about what you want it to be. What you want to do for yourself and not about this person. Because this person could have you waiting for this um, long-term commitment. They could have you waiting for a long ass time. Okay? Alright. So, Scorpios, that's what I have for you. Let's see. Um, we have Sagittarius next. So we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius. Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. If any of this is resonating with your situation, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure your notification bells are on. Leave a comment in the comment section. I will respond. All right, let's see. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You would have thought I didn't take this dog out all day. All day long. The way he is, the way he is acting. He wants my attention. That's what he wants. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the double card for the overall energy. The challenge is the page of cups. So this may be a situation where someone feels as if they can have a friends with benefits with this double card being at the bottom of the deck and a challenge being the page of the cup. Someone here is, um, could be a Capricorn involved, Sagittarius, could be an Aquarius, an Aries, or a the hangman. But I, I definitely feel like this could possibly be a situation where there's a third-party situation. Okay? All right, give me a second. I got to go. Let me see if I can do something with this little doggy. I know. So I still gotta finish my um thing. Okay. So someone here could be a manipulator, they could have addictions, they could indulge in things, they could have some type of destructive behavior, they could be toxic, they could have be uh have like passive aggressive um behavior with this double car coming out as the uh overall energy this person could also be very tempting okay so this person can have an addiction to drugs alcohol they can have an addiction to sex pornography they could have some type of attachment to someone or something okay they may ne even need to do some type of shadow work all right we are definitely going to clarify and find out what's going on with this person but how they feel about you, Sagittarius, okay, or this situation. This person is feeling like, well, they feel confident, 
in this situation, see, even here we have two queens. For some of you, this could be a same a same sex union as well. Okay, but someone, this person is feeling confident. I feel like they feel confident in the relationship. Okay, and I don't know. I don't know why I'm hearing like this person does not take accountability for their actions. Okay. For some of you, this person needs to learn how to take um, accountability for their actions. But they're definitely feeling confident in this union. I do feel like they're coming in with an offer of love. They want to heal this situation. They want things to grow. They're ready to nurture this thing. They want to calm the situation down. Or they're waiting for things to calm down in this union. But they're definitely trying to create some emotional stability between you two. How they plan on doing that, okay, be mindful. Some of you are dealing with another uh, fire sign. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. This person may come in trying to woo you over with a hot, passionate night of sex. I'm just going to say it like what I see. To have a new beginning. So if you have not talked to this person or there's been some type of distance or you felt like your person was being arrogant. Because we do have someone here that is in a friends with benefits situation. Okay. This person is going to try to come in with a, 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 a quick, passionate, one night stand. <laughs> now, you may, I don't see you taking this. I don't see you taking it. Could be dealing with the Pisces. I do not see you taking this one night stand. I feel like you're going to put your hand up and say no. Or what, what, what do you think you're doing? But you're not accepting a hot, passionate one night stand from this person. Especially if you have not seen them in some time. For most of you and your outcome, you're going in a new direction. And it's because this person only wants a friends with benefits. They don't really want anything. They have, like, they don't really have much to offer. Why is this page of cups here as the challenge? Why does this person only want a friends with benefits with uh, Sagittarius? Burnt out. They don't have nothing to offer. This person deals with multiple people. Okay, they deal with multiple people. They have been hurt before. They have not dealt with their past pain, past situation, past failure, or whatever uh, the case is. They, they have a lack of trust. They don't trust in anyone but themselves. They're insecure. Okay, they could be suffering from some financial loss or a financial hardship. So right now, they're focusing on their finances or waiting for a job offer to come in and i feel like they may be living out their karma because they were given to multiple people okay this person was given to multiple people why is this double card here yeah and i feel like the, the overall energy is with either whether it's you thinking about this or this person their toxic ways has resulted in someone moving forward because this person had options. They were self-centered, drinking, um, drinking. They was they were definitely drinking. Someone here is an alcoholic. Okay, overindulging in alcohol. They had a whole bunch of options. Everybody looked different. They didn't even have a type. Okay, they they were spying on people, checking out someone's um social media page there could be children involved here and that is what created the blockages and stopped this from moving forward third party situation third party energy so that there you have it that's it all right let's see who's next capricorn we got capricorn aquarius and then the collective capricorn aquarius and then the collective. But this person, this person, uh, Sagittarius, that you were dealing with, or you were, or you are dealing with, 
That person is a mess. Capricorn. All right, let's see what's going on between Capricorn and their person. Let me know in the comment section below. If it resonates, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. And if you need a personal reading, the links are in the description box. I also have a special going on from now until February the 14th. All right. Let's see. Capricorn. The magician could be dealing with a Gemini Capricorn. Someone may have Gemini in their charts. Okay. All right. So someone here is mo uh, holding back. Yeah. Challenge nine of pentacles. Someone here may be feeling alone. Overall energy. Someone here in this, this, um, Capricorn, this is you. Some of you may have slowed down in a union or you're taking things slow in a union because you want, like, an offer of stability. So you're moving slow. You want to make sure this person is who they say they are. Your person with the magician card here, this person is manifesting or manifesting or feeling. This person, this person is needing clarity. This person feels like you two could have something good together, okay? They feel like you two can have something good together. You two can be like a power couple. You can create a lot together, okay? This is how this person is feeling. But I feel like... Their intentions are to create a solid foundation with you. They want to create a, a solid foundation with you, but I feel like they're moving slow. For So for some of you, this person, they may not be taking action or they're just dragging their feet. I feel like it's because this person may feel like they're not, um, they are not, like on your level. That's what I'm getting. Like this person feels like they're not on your level. And it, and it's creating some type of confusion within them. It's like they, they're feeling like they got to level up financially to be with you. Because they're looking at you. And this is your, how you see this situation. Or how you see yourself. As being abundant. Able to manifest. And have all the new opportunities that you want. <laughs> this is how you see yourself and your view in this situation. But in your outcome, it's the four of cups here. So I feel like there's an offer being extended. But there's some type of disconnect in this union. First of all, there's a lack of communication. So this person, I feel like, is not expressing to you that they feel, well, no one, I don't feel like, this could be the masculine energy as well. Not expressing that they don't really feel like they're on your level some kind of way. Or they're having financial issues. So they may be like reevaluating things. Trying to kind of like put things in motion. And this may be causing either you to feel rejected. Or this person is rejecting the offer. Because they don't feel like they're worthy. to Like they feel like you're too good for them. Okay, they're feeling like you are too good for them. And they're trying to like remain single because of that. Yeah. You're moving slow because you, you want something long-term stable, a long-term stable commitment. You want to be with somebody that you can build with. And this person is like, dragging their feet but it's because they they're trying to get their finances in order or something let's see yeah they could be waiting for news for a job to come in it's like this person needs extra clarity 
And again, you got the Ace of Swords coming out. They need to communicate that to you. The King of Swords and the, the Ace of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This person needs to let you know why they are um, taking their time. It's here again. It's like they're waiting for the right time. I can hear them saying, I like I like Capricorn, but I, I got to wait for the right time. I got to get my money up. I got to get this bag together. That's, that's what I hear. I got to get this bag. And I do feel like it's creating delays. These This is in a challenge area section. Delays and causing a, bur a heavy burden, causing someone to feel uh, bogged down because they don't, you, this could be you feeling bogged down because you don't really know what's going on because they're not telling you. They're not telling you. The advice here is Capricorns, Spirit is saying, follow your heart. Follow your heart. So if some of you are feeling like this person is taking too long, they're creating blockages, they're dragging their feet. Spirit is saying, go towards the things that will enlighten and bring joy to your heart. And if that results in you walking away from this person, guess what? See you later, alligator. All right. So that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Hope it resonated. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. Okay. Aquarius. We have Aquarius. And then the collective. Or the, uh, yeah, the collective read. And then we're closing this out. Let's see, Aquarius. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the sniffling, but I said every time I get towards the middle of the all sign reads, my nasal system, okay, starts going crazy. <laughs> my throat, ears, nose, and throat, it all goes together. My ears is, are popping. I hear ringing. I know it's the energy, the frequency of the reading, but I guess I have to get used to it. <clears throat> All right, Aquarius, let's see. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Happy birthday, Aquarians. If you I'm sorry for the pause. If your birthday falls on today or sometime during this week, happy birthday. Hope all is well. All right, so Aquarians, your challenge is the three of wands. Okay. Something here is taking too damn long. Some of you have been waiting, or your partner. Some something or someone here is taking too damn long. Okay, your overall energy is the Knight of Wands. So this <laughs> this could be like some some of you may be feeling like someone here is a player. Could be dealing with a player, Knight of Wands. We'll find out could because we will clarify. Aquarius, some of you are dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You got the Knight of Wands for your overall energy and the King of Wands coming out. So for some of you, the person you came here for. This person is wanting to overcome some op obstacles, some challenges, okay? They may feel like you're a challenge to them, okay? They may feel like you are, or this person is feeling like they want to take the lead in this situation. They want to take action towards you, okay? But the Page of Pentacles, they're... they're so I feel like in their mind, because this is their feelings, in their mind, this person wants to come in like a king, okay? They want to come in. This person may want to give you the world, but that the their intuition, like in their mind, they want to do that, but they're coming in in the reality as a page not really having much to give okay this person wants to come towards you 
They want to start over. They may even send you a text message. They may call you because they do want to move forward. That's their intention is to move things forward, to get the lines of communication open. But they're, they went from a king to a page. I feel like what they're going to do, they're going to come in and express their emotions. Okay? I do feel like this person is going to come in, express the love that they have for you. Because this person could be feeling very emotional at this time or either they are drinking a hell of a lot. Okay? But they're definitely letting go of some emotional uh, baggage. For some of you, this person could be crying in the shower. I, I see someone here crying in the shower. You, on the other hand, Aquarius, the star card came out. Can't show the card. But you're in your power. Okay? Some of you are healing. You are renewing your energy. You're on some type of spiritual quest. You're looking for new and better things. Okay? You're trying to find your purpose at this time. I mean, we are in Aquarius season. I see some of you leveling up. Okay? And I see an outcome, the two of wands. So you're weighing your options. There are decisions that need to be made surrounding this situation. There are decisions that need to be made. So, but the challenge here is that something here is taking too long because someone here is refusing to move forward. Yeah. And it's causing someone to feel worried, anxious, feeling um, some type of depression, anxiety. Someone is up at night having regrets because they feel like this. they, they fell in this union. This person is feeling the loss, feeling grief. Okay, feeling like disappointed. I do see some um, someone wanting to come in. So someone may want to like come in towards you really fast, but they may not be able to due to a family or some type of long-term commitment. That's, this is what the challenge is. <laughs> I'm laughing because I almost fell. <laughs> okay. All right. Somebody mad. Someone is mad at this time. They like, oh, okay. I must be speaking some type of truth. The energy in these cards coming out is telling the truth. So there's a delay in plans. That, this is what the, the challenge is. There are too many delays. And it's because someone has options. That's the over. Why is this Knight of Wands? Who is this Knight of Wands? Why is this Knight of Wands here? And who is this Knight of Wands? Okay, so we have a Queen of Pentacles here. So again, someone here is connected in a long-term commitment. Trying to be a player. Trying to win at all costs. So this could be someone that's selfish and only think about themselves. They want to win at all costs. So they don't care whose emotions they hurt. They don't care about emo emotional or physical abuse. Okay? They just want to win or or have or please have pleasure for themselves. Okay? So this person is sitting back. Someone sitting back contemplating on how to come in. Planning for the future. How to recover this situation. Okay. Because there could have been a break here. Yeah. Feeling like their hands are tied. They are locked away. They can't get out of something. Because they have options. Someone has a decision to make. And they're not making a decision. And sometimes a person not making a decision... Is the, de is the decision. This person is trying to figure out how they can give to multiple people. But if you look in the card, they are only able to give to one. They're not, they're not able to give to, to two. Because they're only focused on one. And that's, that's what the problem is. And this is why, and the two cards that came out. This is why there is a blockage and someone here is walking away. All right? So Aquarius, there could be you walking away because you are elevating and 
that's that's the energy in the reading all right so let's move on to the collective and then we are going to close this out i hope you all enjoy comment in the comment section you can comment in the chat like if you join in the chat just to say hello i will say hi back <laughs> all right sometimes people don't want their identity shown but you could create a name I all right, I'm sorry. This is the collective read. Let's see. And then we are going to close this out. This is the collective read. And then we are going to close this out. What do we have here for the collective? What do we have? Thanks to whomever pressed the thumbs. Whoever pressed that thumbs up image, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see. What do we have here for the collective? This is just a, a collective read for all. All right. Let's see. Maybe your story may not be, but let's see. Challenge is the Ten of Cups. Someone here can have a family, and someone here is moving on in an overall energy. Could be a cancer. So someone could be moving on because someone here has a family. All right, collective. Your person is feeling inspired, okay? This person is inspired to free themselves from a family or a long-term commitment, okay? Inspired to free themselves from a family or a long-term commitment. What they are intending to do is to come in quickly, come in swiftly, to communicate. They want to let you know what they're doing, okay? Because this person wants to win at all costs. They don't want to be defeated. This person does not want to lose you. So they know that they have to hurry up and come in before someone else gets you. All right? You are, on the other hand, I feel like when you hear this person's... um what's on their mind about you two moving forward together, you're contemplating. You're going to take a step back and weigh your options. You're going to contemplate. You're going to think about it. You're not giving them a yes or a no because you really don't know if this person is being honest or not, okay? Because I feel like in the outcome, um, I do see you two planning for the long haul and I do see a reconciliation, but I feel like, this person is still connected to a family or either they're still married. So someone here may need to go through a divorce or get a legal separation before you two can move forward together. Okay? Because in the meantime, between time, I see you moving on. I see you moving on. You said you wish that was your reading. <laughs> yeah. I think you're moving on because you're feeling anxious, you're worried, you're trying to figure out if this person is being honest or not. And I feel like for most of you, you gave this person another chance in the past and they screwed you over. They came up giving you the bare minimum. For some of you, this is not the first time this person told you they were walking away from a situation and did not walk away. Yeah. So now you have your guard up. Rejecting their order. I mean, rejecting their offer and taking your time to decide on what it is that you want to do for yourself. Because I feel like Spirit is saying, like, in your advice, take responsibility for your actions because this person is going to lead you down a long road of heavy work, hard work to, to, to be with them. And I feel like it's going to end up with them going back to their family. So they're leading you down the road to nothing. Yeah, you said your person isn't coming back. Yeah, I feel like this person is leading you down to a road of nothing. Talking a good game, but can't deliver. Okay, so collective, that is what I have for you. Thanks to everyone that joined in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sending all of you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image to help this video circulate. And also, if your 
reading resonates with your situation. Just to show some support, hit the thumbs up image for me. Um, be safe out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for chatting with me. I am grateful to each and every one of you. Be blessed, and I will see you all next time. Peace.